I am Siddharth Savant. I am a member of technical staff at Global Foundries. I am part of the digital methodology team. My primary responsibilities are timing, characterization, margining, and customer engagement. So GF22 FDX technology is the fully depleted silicon on insulator technology from Global Foundries. With the recent push towards automotive and IoT, GF22 FDX is the answer for all the customer needs. ADAS or Advanced Driver Assistance Systems are systems to help drivers in the driving process. With auto driver capabilities and features like lane keep assist, collision avoidance, there's a lot of data sensing and processing that happens in the modern automotive chips. Um, as you can imagine, incorrect processing of this data can lead to a lot of issues and even fatalities in a lot of instances. Um, also, a lot of these automotive chips have a long product life and they are exposed to really harsh temperatures. So that's why aging becomes very critical in terms of timing sign-off and characterization for specifically for automotive chips. IoT is enabled by having intelligent endpoints. A basic IoT feature is mainly sensing the data and processing it and sending it back to the cloud. A lot of these sensing and processing chips are exposed to very high, very harsh weather conditions and have a long product life. Hence, aging and variation becomes a very critical factor in terms of timing sign-off for these chips. There are two main types of aging mechanisms in play. One is BTI or bias temperature instability and the other is HCI or hot carrier injection. BTI is mainly a static phenomenon. Also with the removal of stress, some of the delta VT that is degraded because of aging can be recovered and this is known as BTI recovery. HCI has no recovery. So currently there are two approaches. One is where we can use a D-rate based solution for aging and then the other is creating aged libraries. So with the D-rate based approach, it's a flat tax D-rate that you apply to all cells in your design. So it's not granular. So it has an impact on the accuracy. Also, it does not account for slew degradation and not constraint degradation either. Aged libraries on the other hand, have more granular data. So age libraries have data for each slew load combination. Leakage improvement due to the VT shift of due to aging is also captured as part of the age library. It also includes slew degradation and constraint degradation. So D-rate based approach is a very generic solution to a very complex problem. Age libraries are more granular and add accuracy in timing sign off. So Cadence enables the aging flow using Librate and Spectre. We use Spectre to generate aged netlist. We then feed this aged netlist into Librate to generate aged libraries for a specific duty cycle and based on the number of years of aging. With the aged methodology, we can generate cell-specific aging data, which adds more granularity. In terms of setup analysis, we've seen about 20% reduction in pessimism for setup TNS. In terms of hold analysis, we see more hold violations with the aged methodology. So this ensures that no critical hold fixes are missed. So in conclusion, the aged methodology provides a much more granular way of modeling aging data, and it's highly accurate and will definitely be a benefit for designers in terms of timing sign-off.